Philippines and the founder and head admin of Creative Cake Winner Philippines. So by the way, this afternoon I am going to teach you another fun tutorial and this is our Halloween Cakesicles. Yay! Okay, so I hope you will stay with me until the end of the video so that you will learn my um, techniques, my ways in making this cute Cakesicles. Super easy guys, super easy. And by the way, hello to my friends in Davao City. Maayong hapon kaninyong tanan. Uh, unta, okay ra mudiha sa Davao. Also to uh, my friends in Las Piñas, Las Piñas Bakers. Hi everyone. Uh, also, I would like to thank very quick lang ang ating major sponsors for this event. Um, walang event na to kung hindi sila nag-support. So, I would like to thank Peotraco Philippines Incorporated, um, Bakers Field, and Puratos Philippines, Queen of Hearts Couture Cakes, Take and Bake, The Pink Pants, and a lot more. So, thank you so much for supporting. Guys, please um, like and share this video so that you will have a chance to win our special giveaways, okay? So again, guys, we will teach you, I will teach you how to make uh, cakesicles. Normally, I uh, make fondant cakes, guys. That's my um, specialty. Fondant cakes, 3D toppers, um, what else? Piping, buttercream, buttercream cakes, and minimalist. So I hope, guys, you will learn from me today sa ating super quick tutorial ng cakesicles. So... Let's start now and please uh, again stay with me until the end of the video kasi mabilis lang to. Okay? Okay, so before we begin, um, I would like to enumerate the materials that we need to make our cakesicle. So first, of course, very important is our cakesicle um, silicone molder. So for the silicone molder, uh, you can actually buy um, the local brand or this one the silicomart silicomart uh, they have different shapes and um, sizes but uh, you can also buy the cheaper one so this is available online at any baking supply stores online or um, shops okay so make sure you use a thick silicone molder okay and next is of course our pallet knife um, I will show I will show you later how um, we use this. Okay, and the next is our popsicle sticks. So, for the popsicle sticks, you can buy the shorter one. It's uh, cuter, but since I don't have that, so I'm using this one. This is the standard size of the popsicle sticks. Okay, and then um, paintbrush. It's a small one, and um, edible pen. If um, you want to decorate your cakesicles, um, put some small details. You can use an edible pen. Or you can always use uh, colored chocolates, or you can use painting. You can you, you can paint on your cakesicles, and of course chocolates. We need chocolates. Um, you can use dark. You can use white chocolate. Right now I'm using dark chocolate. This is a uh, Purato Scarlet dark coating. This one. So, I like using this because um, it's very easy to um, handle. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't burn easily because I only melt my chocolate using a microwave oven. I don't do the double boiler. So, I love uh, using Purato Scarlet dark, dark Coating. It also gives me that you know shiny finish after you, um, you set your chocolate. And um, by the way, guys, um, if you have... Um, questions later I will answer that and uh, I won't be able to read your comments but I will answer all the comments after the demo okay so let's begin first is we need to melt our chocolate and um, pour it in our cakesicle molder so for our cakesicle molder make sure it's dry and clean and no um, water okay and as well uh, do this if you have time or if you uh, have piping bags at home i'm sure you have so you melt your chocolate and put it inside a piping bag so uh, 
it's less messy okay pwede nyo rin i-scoop uh, lang using your spoon pero again if you uh, want it faster or and, and less messy put it you melt it and put it inside your piping bag it's just chocolate nothing else i did not mix any other ingredients so ganito lang siya chocolate and melt it in a micro microwave oven or um, you can also do the double boiler method okay okay so first again lini siya dry alagyan natin ng chocolate make sure later that all the corners are well covered okay this is enough And we can use our brush. Okay. So for the brush, this is how you use the brush to You have to work fast especially if you're working in a room that's uh that is air conditioned you work fast before your chocolate sets okay so if all the corners are covered with chocolate we can put this in the fridge make sure that all the sides are covered with chocolate with chocolate and uh we will put this in the fridge for at least 5 to 10 minutes. But I think since uh, malamig ngayon, so we can just put it in the fridge for just 5 minutes. Okay. So, dyan, sa taas lang siya. Huwag niyo i-brush hanggang uh, dulo. Yan lang. To help your chocolate. And then, uh, we will put this in the fridge for 5 minutes and let it set. Okay, so after 5 minutes, um, actually this is just 3 minutes, sorry. So after 3 minutes, um, if your chocolate has set, you uh, apply the second coating. So again, you pipe. Okay. And then, you scatter the chocolate to the sides. Make sure that you put um, medio thick chocolate on the sides. Here, the corner. Okay, again, guys, if... Um, you're working in a in an AC room. Make sure to work quickly before your chocolate sets. Okay, spread it evenly and do not cover the this one the hole. Kasi diyan may papasok ang popsicles later, popsicle sticks. Okay. Okay, and then after this, after the second coating, we put it back in the fridge for another 2 to 3 minutes. Okay, so after the second coating, um, ilalagay natin ang ating cake inside. So, I forgot to mention earlier na <laughs> ang pinaka-importante ang cake. So, we will put our cake inside. This is just a regular cake. Lalagyan mo lang ng konting ganache. Parang cake pops. Okay. Ganyan lang. Press it gently. 
Huwag masyadong um, malakas. Ganyan lang. Okay. For um, white cake pops, I advise you to use um, butter cakes or pound cakes para mas um, light ang color. Kasi if you use chocolate cakes in white cake pops and you, um, you, um, your, what they call your chocolate shell is thin, um, it will show. Makikita yung chocolate cake doon sa, parang, parang nagiging transparent yung white chocolate at nakikita yung cake sa loob. Nakikita yung brown chocolate cake. So, uh, what we do is, uh, we use, um, pound cake or butter cake for our white chocolate cake sickles. Para mas malinis, mas pretty. Okay, after this, um, we put the sticks. For the sticks, nilalagay ko lang siya para may guide or para may butas. Pag na-close siya ng chocolate, gamitan mo lang siya nitong maliit na ano. Yan. And then you push. Dahan-dahan. Hanggang dito lang siya. Hanggang dito. Ang sticks. Not here. So, dito lang. And then, we put our chocolate again to cover the back of our cakesicles. Super easy lang, di ba? Kayang-kaya gawin. Ang dami kong nababasa. Hirap na hirap sa cakesicles. Practice lang po. Tsaka follow the procedure, this method. Just follow it. At mapapadali ang inyong buhay. <laughs> Matutuwa kayo sa cakesicles. Time consuming lang talaga siya, pero masaya siyang gawin. Okay. If you have excess like this, you can flatten it, remove the excess chocolate, and this is where we use our palette knife. Okay. Let's clean the sides kasi pag ni-remove natin yan, and um, you have extra excess chocolates on the sides. Sasama yan mamaya pag tinanggal natin sa inanmold natin. Okay, so this is how you remove the excess chocolate. And then we'll put this back in the fridge for at least um, 3 minutes. Again, guys, uh, tama pala, before uh, anything else, do not uh, put your, your chocolates in the fridge for 10 minutes or more kasi mag-iiba ang texture ng chocolate, mag-absorb siya ng maraming moisture sa loob ng ref, tapos magtutubig-tubig, mamaya magka-crack. So, just make sure 2, 3, 4 minutes, ganyan lang, lalo na pag ganito, uh, maulan, malamig, uh, wag sobrang tagal sa loob ng fridge. Okay, so I'll put this back in the fridge for at least 2 to 3 minutes or until the chocolate sets and uh, we will unmold this. Okay, we're back. So, ito na ang ating cakesicle after 3, actually 2 minutes lang, sorry. 2 minutes, so we will unmold this. So, may 2 way ng pag unmold Yung iuna, unmold mo siya, huwag mo i-remove yung stick. Yung pangalawa, which is I always what I always do, I remove the stick first. Yan. Dito hawakan mo, ipupush mo konti. Dito, ito, ito. Para hindi sumama pag tinanggal mo yung stick. Why, I, why do I do it? Because um, sometimes I uh, accidentally, you know, um, remove the cakesicles and nasasama yung chocolate, nagka-crack siya. So... What I do is I remove first a stick like this para mas madali and unmold. When you unmold to like this. Okay mo siya, push konti, handahan. And hold. That's it. 
Can you see it? Okay. So this is our cakesicle. Diba? Super shiny. Super pretty. Look all the sides. Perfect. No crack. Sa taas. Just follow the um, procedure that I did. And you will achieve this too. Same lang. Same na same lang. Kahit, actually, kahit anong brand ng chocolate ang gamitin. But for me, I prefer again, pura to scarlet dark chocolate. You try it too if you haven't tried it yet. And then for the cake, cake, uh, cake sickle, ay sorry, cake pop sticks. <laughs> so, okay. popsicle sticks or ano cake pops? Itong lito na. Okay, so I will put my popsicle sticks stick back inside the cake sickle. Okay, so I will put the popsicle stick back into the cake sickle and lagyan natin ng konting chocolate. Konti lang. Okay. So I wash my hands, guys. I will just touch this and like that. Okay. Again, wag super push sa dulo. Maka masira. And then for the Excess chocolate. Pwede mo siya linisin. Okay. That's it. Pag may mga excess na ganyan, linisin mo lang. Okay. So, this is our cakesicle. Diba? Ang dali. Mas madali pa yan sa cake pops. Believe me. Easy lang siya kasi may molder siya. Training! Chocolate pa yung koko ko. Training! So, this is our cakesicle. Okay, so let's do a quick Halloween theme decoration. So, I am going to use... Um, these are the samples that I made. For this one, this is just, uh, again, the same dark chocolate. This one is um, white chocolate. Same procedure lang, guys. Same lang, as in super same. You just melt. You just um, pour your chocolate in the mold and then let it set for three minutes and then uh, do the second coating and then set for three minutes and then put the cake. That's the same. Uh, I'm just using a different color, cho color of chocolate here. So for this one, this is green, uh, Frankenstein. This is pumpkin. I used um, orange chocolate. And uh, itong details niya, fondant. So fondant. You can use fondant. And you can also pipe chocolate if you like. Para all chocolate siya. And then for this one, uh, white chocolate. And I made this cute little ghost. This is made of fondant, marshmallow fondant. You can just stick it here in our... Cakesicle. That's easy, diba? Super easy. Okay. So, for this one, um, I am using a small piece of parchment paper and melted chocolate inside. Maliit lang siya. Tapos, magpa-pipe tayo sa ating cakesicles to decorate. Okay? Okay, so for the white chocolate, let's make a very easy uh, Jack Skellington decoration. Uh, ito yung si, ano, si Jack sa The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, So yung mouth. This is just melted white chocolate. Okay. Hindi natin siya rong pantayin. Okay, and then, di ba may stitches yung mouth niya? Hindi siya center. Lagyan natin dito kanto. Okay. So, after sa mouth, um, 
gawa tayo ng nose. Ganyan lang yung nose niya. Parang heart. Nabaliktad. And then, ay sorry, nagmo-move yung aking. Okay, that's it. This is just melted chocolate again, guys. Magtanong kayo ano yan? Chocolate lang. Tinunaw. Ayan. Okay. Then sa eyes. Medyo malaki yung eyes ni Jack. Sakit kaya natin. Okay, tapos try natin pantayin yung kabila. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, that's it. So we have one. And then for um, this one, um, let's design it with white chocolate. Okay, for this one, we are going to make it a uh, vampire Kixicle. So I am using a uh, marshmallow fondant. So let's put it here. For the face. You can put water, you can also um, just stick it if your fondant is a little bit sticky. Okay, and then for the cape, since she's in Dracula, so we're going to put cape in the bottom. Okay. Okay, and then for the eyes, let's pipe some dark chocolate. Saglit lang ay isin ko dito. One, and two. Ayan, pantay ba? And then, mouth. And then, sa na yung white chocolate natin. Ganito siya ng pangil. <laughs> Kasi Dracula nga, di ba? Okay. Shwink. Ayan, napasobrahan ko yata. Ah! <laughs> Sumobra. Ayan na siya. Ayan. Easy lang. Okay. So, this is our cakesicle, Halloween cakesicles. Okay, okay. So, if you have questions, you can message me and I will respond later. Okay, so I hope you like our quick demo today. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And by the way, don't forget to um, like our Facebook page, Creative Cakepreneur Philippines. And join our group, Creative Cakepreneur Philippines. Please share this video and uh, support our fellow uh, bakers. We will have a few demos in the coming weeks, uh, in the coming days. So I hope you uh, you will be uh, uh, joining our our demo. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy our quick tutorial on um, cakesicles. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.